Good morning, Year 3. Welcome to Friday's lesson, the last one of the week. I hope that you've had a really good week. We are going to continue with uh, looking at our story today, and today we'll learn to describe nouns using adjectives. This is something we've done a lot of, so you're very familiar with adjectives, so you should not find this too hard today. So, we're going to play an adjective game. Um, remember, adjectives describe the nouns. So, nouns are objects or people or places or animals and you use adjectives to describe them. Now we're going to look at some pictures of Iceland because remember that's where the story set the trolls are in Iceland and we're going to have a look at what we can see in the pictures so for example rocks and clothes. Uh, I would like you to write down some nouns that you can see on a piece of paper because you're going to need to refer back to it in a bit. So here are some pictures of places in Iceland. I want you to have a look at the pictures and write down some things you can see. We're not describing them yet. I just want you to write down some nouns. Okay, so pause the video in a minute and then write down, say, about eight different nouns. Okay, you should have done that if you've paused the video. I'm just gonna show you this table that I created. So nouns that I could see were rocks, clothes, ice, moss. Moss is the green stuff on the rocks. Hills, the sky and water. So those are some things I could see. You might have different things written down and that's fine. Now, what we're going to do now is try and think of some interesting adjectives to describe the things in the pictures of Iceland. Remember, you can always magpie some of the words from the story um, to put in as adjectives. Now, I want you to think about the colour of the noun, the size, what is the mood. So, for example, a calm sea or lonely clothes or a terrifying crater. So, think, are you trying to create a scary setting or um, a calm, relaxing setting. It's completely up to you what kind of setting you want to produce. So, for example, in these two pictures, the sun's out, so it might be more of a calm, happy, serene environment. These couple of pictures, it's quite foggy, the weather's quite cloudy, it looks quite wet. So you might want to create more of a scary setting. It's completely up to you. Now, it's a good idea to use your senses as well. So what might it feel like? What might it smell like? What might it sound like? So you can think of the these ideas as well. So we can look at colour, size, the mood you're going for, so the atmosphere, what it might feel like, what it might smell like, what it might sound like. So when you've done that, you could pause the video on these pictures and I'd like you to write down some adjectives to describe each name. Now I've done a couple here. So the rocks, I didn't just write one or two things down. I've written a variety of adjectives. So the gray, tall, craggy. Craggy means the same as sharp. Rounded, lifeless, slimy. The clouds have put white, gray, wispy, thin, silver, soft. Now I'm not asking for similes. I'm not asking for um, alliteration, although if you do that by accident, that's fine. I just want adjectives. So you, I'm expecting you to write at least four adjectives down for each of the nouns. If you get stuck and you're really struggling to think of some adjectives, you can use the online thesaurus that I've shown you before. So if you bear with me, with you again. So you just go onto Google and type online thesaurus in and then this will come up. So say you want to describe the rocks and you can only think of the word hard and you've got two adjectives but you need to think of some more. You just type in the word hard, press the search button and then if you look here down the side Three of the words for hard are in um, orange, 
you've got solid strontium tuff. So there you go, you can describe the um, rocks as these three things. Now, some of these words don't make sense if you were describing a rock. So if you click on the other links as well, this means hard as in something is difficult or exhausting. That's not going to be to describe a rock. It actually says here, yeah, rock like. So adjectives have different meanings. So make sure you're looking at the ones in orange that are the best ones for you. So we'll just go back to going to the second study. So all I'm expecting you to do today is to look at these pictures, choose about eight different names from the pictures, so objects, things and pictures, and then for you to come up with at least four adjectives to describe them. And like I said, you can use the online thesaurus to help you. Um, if I was you, I'd keep a note of these down on paper before you did it on Purple Mash, because you're probably going to need these adjectives when you come to write your own story um, in the next couple of weeks. Okay, if you need any help, you know where we are. And I will now speak to you Monday. So have a fantastic weekend, guys. Bye.